this next weather. All right, and it is Father's Day weekend. So many people will be barbecuing outside, heading to the beach. How's it looking? Yeah, not too bad, at least tomorrow in the morning hours for dad. If you're waking up, maybe planning on getting some early beach day plans in, you should be okay. It's after about one o'clock that we'll start to see that chance for showers and thunderstorms increase for your Sunday tomorrow for dad. So just be mindful that if you have outdoor plans, maybe heading out on the boat, fishing, whatnot, uh, we will be looking at some thunderstorms a little bit later on, and some of them could be on the stronger side. Beginning today, we're seeing the return of some tropical moisture. We've been kind of lacking that over the recent recent days, which is why we've seen lower rain chances makes a comeback today and we'll be tracking the potential of seeing some strong severe thunderstorms for this afternoon. Wouldn't quite rule them out for tomorrow either as we still have that southwest flow in place and with that some deep tropical moisture that will continue to, to con contribute to some stronger thunderstorms both today and tomorrow. Here is today's severe weather threat. We have a level one to level two risk in place for some of Miami Dade County and all of Broward County today. Watch out for thunderstorms capable of producing some strong to damaging wind gusts, frequent lightning, and definitely some heavy rain with the threat to see some localized flooding. This should say Sunday. This is tomorrow severe weather threat, a level one risk in place where we could also see some isolated strong thunderstorms. What, one of the things we'll be dealing with and continue to deal with after the past couple days of tough heat is the continued heat and humidity. That's not going anywhere, at least for the remainder of this weekend. Temperatures right now, middle and upper 80s, is what we're waking up to for those air temperatures, but then you factor in the high humidity, those dew points that are well into the mid and upper 70s. That's where we get these feels like temperatures already in the low to middle 90s. Fort Lauderdale down through Homestead. It's already feeling like the triple digits down through the keys at the moment. So our heat advisories, they have been extended through the day today. That's for all of South Florida, including the keys through 7 p.m. for Miami Dade and Broward County for a heat index of 105 to 108 degrees down through the keys. It's for the potential seeing that heat index as high as 112 degrees. Make sure to stay hydrated. Try to just overall stay in the shade and the air conditioning when you can today. We're dry at the moment, but our chances for rain and thunderstorms today will start to pick up as we approach the lunchtime hour. Notice even already at about 11 a.m. we may see some activity inland that's going to be pushing towards the coast. One, two o'clock. Notice we have high coverage of showers and thunderstorms across our metro areas. We'll continue with these rounds of thunderstorms through three, four, five o'clock. These are where we could see some of these become on the stronger side with certainly some heavy rain, the threat for some gusty to damaging winds, and I wouldn't quite rule out some hail for the day today. A few lingering showers into the overnight time frame, and then we'll be looking at more thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow afternoon for your Father's Day. A check at the tropics. We're now tracking a tropical wave that's far off in the eastern Atlantic. This is rare for this time of year. The National Hurricane Center now giving this a 70% chance of becoming a tropical depression or storm over the next week as it'll be tracking westward generally as we head to the next few days. Again, rare for this time of year, but we have near record warm temperatures across what we call the main development region. That's those water areas across the Atlantic, essentially from the coast of Africa to the Caribbean. And that's what's fueling the higher potential of seeing some development out of this. What right now is just a tropical wave. The National Hurricane Center has officially designated this Invest 92L. As far as exactly where this is heading, still unsure as we head into uh, the next four or five days here, but we will be watching it. Nevertheless, nothing to worry about here locally right now. Just something to be mindful of that, of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on. And if we do happen to see this become a tropical storm, which right now that chance is high, the next name on the list is Brett. 7 a forecast tomorrow featuring a 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms. We're heading into just generally a more active weather pattern with higher chances for thunderstorms into next week. But hey, the silver lining there will be some lower temperatures, highs back into the upper 80s and lower 90s.